What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Living Free channel. My name is Tyler Freed and today I got Pedro with me again. He's back. Uh, he did not leave on me. And uh, yeah, so we are currently, what is this, week four of your training? Right? He did three weeks before he left? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he did three weeks before he left and he has about four more weeks to go before he will be getting into his
we still made it in schedule. We yep. actually made it ahead of schedule to our drop, yep. and now we're on a road to make more miles on our next load. So, yep. um, those are kind of the things that you're gonna have to challenge yourself physically. Is you know condition yourself to really rest when you have to rest. Right. Because if you're gonna sit there in your 10-hour break while your trainer's driving, and you know you're gonna drive for another 10, 11 hours after him. All you do is finagle on your phone and whatever. Yeah. You're not gonna do it. You're not gonna make it. You really have to discipline yourself. Right. And, uh, that's the only con I can say. But yeah. I mean, but basically, you just have to do the work, right? And yeah. You're gonna get the money. So yeah, like there's plenty of trainers here that I know that'll do teaming or quasi team like we're doing, right? But like you said, you got to get used to that sleeping pattern changing all the time. Because time management, like you said too, that is the key to everything in trucking. Like if you do not know how to manage your time, you're not going to make any money. I don't care if you're solo, team, owner operator, doesn't matter. Time management is the money in trucking. Yeah, once you run out of your 70 hours, you have to take your, your reset. You're going to be sitting for 38 hours. Right. Unless you do recaps, which... You can do recaps, but again, these... Still. These guys here, got, they gotta learn and understand right. how recap works. Yep. You can't just go and be like, "Oh, I'm gonna take a recap." It doesn't work that way. No. You gotta, you gotta wait until the day of, so your, so the eighth day frees up those hours for you to go. But even with the recap, you're not gonna get your full eleven hours. Right. In most cases, you know, right. your dry time. You probably, I mean, you're definitely not gonna get your on duty time. At most, you probably get like seven hours, eight hours, whatever you put into that day that freed up. Right. So it's like you really got to learn, again, time management. Yeah. Otherwise, you know. Yeah. 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 So what we're going to do is kind of share like weekly for the next three, four weeks what we're doing in terms of mileage goes. And uh, yeah, but definitely my goal is to have Pedro average two grand a week. Uh, teaming with me and that's just average like like I said this week he's getting paid 44 cents a mile we we're gonna hit 5,000 miles this week so you just do the math on that that's what he's making as a trainee I don't know of many companies out there that pay their students that much or where a student has the potential to earn that much in a week but it's very doable for him to hit two thousand dollars a week doing what we're doing the first three weeks he was out with me didn't have his license yet so we were on one clock. So no, he was not able to hit that, but he was still earning pretty good money even doing that, right? Doing the solo clock. So yeah. doing the solo clock, I was averaging about 1200 bucks, thousand bucks a week. Right. But now with my CDL, I took care of all of that. Right. <laughs> I took care of all of this, the stuff that, you know, Millis, well not Millis, MTI kind of just gave me the runaround. Got my CDL, got that taken care of, and um, yeah. yeah. Right. I'm pushing, man. Yeah, you are. So, are you, are you kind of getting used to the fluctuation after a few days? And are you kind of getting used to it? Like, like you said, going to sleep when you have to. That's the biggest thing. Like it's forcing yourself. It's yeah. It's discipline. Yeah. I mean, it just depends on your trainer. It depends on. There's a, there's factors. Right. Discipline is not one, but everyone through Oklahoma. The roads are garbage. You're, it's gonna be very uncomfortable. And you're not. You're gonna lose sleep. Yeah, you're gonna lose sleep for sure. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, we just wanted to kind of give an update on what we were doing. Um, he did wait a couple weeks to get back with me on the truck, but our plan the whole time was to do exactly what we're doing and we're gonna push it for four weeks. So, like I said, every week, we're gonna do like a breakdown of how many miles we did and the kind of money he's making as a trainee. And um, yeah, pretty much it. Just just sharing our experience. And that's, that's all we can do is just share our experience. And um, yeah, maybe you can learn something from it. Maybe it'll give you some ideas if you're looking at going to Millis and you get with your trainer, maybe you can convince them to do kind of what we're doing, right? Not every trainer will do that. Like you said, there's so many factors though. Not every trainer is gonna do that. 
So, uh, also, I want to remind you guys when you start your first week at Millis, well, MTI in class training, they will give you a $200 advance. But just expect to still have, like we said in the previous video, some money in your pocket. Right. Because if you don't, just, uh, <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, definitely save up money before you go to the school and have enough money to live on. Even though they're going to be paying you like 600 bucks. Um, just have a little bit of money saved if you can. If you can't do it, then like you said, they'll give you the advance or whatever. And uh, just get in the seat. Really what matters, honestly, I'm not really pushing Millis. I'm just sharing with you my experience at Millis. And I want him to share his experience. And my next tra trainee or whatever is going to share his if they're willing to get on here. And uh, But ultimately, my channel, I push the trucking industry in general. Not, no company, there's no one company for everybody. There's no one size fits all, right? And I know that. So, but if you're looking at trucking in general, this is a great business. If you're willing to work and you're willing to put in the effort, like I've always said, and like you said, self-discipline, dude, you can make a lot of money in this industry. A lot of money, okay? Yeah. Owner up, company, team, lease doesn't matter you can make a lot of money if you make the right moves and you're strategic in what you do and you think like a business person then you can make a lot of money and you can really change your situation out here as a truck driver so that's pretty much it that's all I wanted to add uh, at the end of that video right now we just hit a uh, road closure so we're trying to route yeah. a, a different way to get around it but uh, Yep, that's what we're doing. So, uh, do you have anything else to add? Um, no, but a lot of guys, a lot of guys I notice are commenting without even watching the videos. Or yeah, yeah. some of you guys are making yourself look like a fool, man. Yeah, like, you got to watch the whole video. You know, don't make a comment uh, based on the title of the video, right? Actually, we already know what specifically what video that is. Yeah, we know what video that it's is. It's a waste of life. It's a waste no. of life. I that said. Yep. The comments there are pretty funny. The responses they, they are really like, are. I look at him, I'm like, bro, they even waste with this yeah. fucking moron. Yeah, right, like, yeah. Right. Yeah, they, they didn't, all they did is click on the video, comment, and then, yeah. yeah. So, but that's YouTube. It is what it is. There's going to be trolls, and I don't really care, to be honest with you, what right. they say. So We're getting paid. So. But, yeah, we're getting paid. I love trucking. Let me be clear about that. I don't think it's a waste of life at all. And uh, I would not want to be in any other business, to be honest with you at the moment so uh anyway that's pretty much it yeah i mean like you said uh you know some of you guys are curious or probably watching this video um to get in the industry because uh, you know people want to restart yep they, they want to find an escape from their situation or yeah maybe they're just passionate about driving and they're open to the thing i don't know it's yeah. whatever it is you can't go wrong with trucking man. right um i got some good friends of mine that are owner operators already and it's, it took them some work but oh, it's yeah. doable you know and obviously you know if you condition yourself working for a company and whatever and you get the momentum of it you learn the science about of like how everything works and how you work yourself out on the road you'll be a successful owner operator too like, yeah I, I yeah think. no matter which way you go like he said i mean there, everybody gets into the business for different reasons but Whatever those reasons are, uh, I would not deter anybody from looking at trucking as a long-term career at all. I would not not do that. This is a very underrated business. Um, you can make a ton of money in this business if you want to do the work. Um, you could also just make really good money and have that work-life balance situation. Once you get like a year of experience, you can go local, still make seventy, eighty thousand dollars a year, be home on the weekend. You can do that. Yep. You can do that. Now, I can't do that based on my situation. I've got to make more than that because I'm the sole income in my house, right? But if you're a single person or you're you're married but y'all don't have any kids, maybe you don't need to make that much. But whatever it is, trucking is a great way, like he said. If you're struggling and you're at the bottom and you're trying to get ahead and get out of whatever bad situation you're in, this is the perfect industry for that. It is. Also, just keep in mind, you know, OTR experience is good. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do a full year. Right. Like, you know, Millis doesn't obligate people to 
work for a whole year to finish the school. Obviously, it's a mentorship. So it, while you're on the road training, you're paying your, your school off, which is a great program. So, like, guys, don't be discouraged if, you know, you hear, oh, you got to gotta be in with this company for a year because I went through school through them. Right. Uh, you know, after a year, an OTR experience, yeah. you can work local, like you said. You can work for a beer company, you can work right. for Publix, and you can make, you can get a nine to five. Yeah, you, you can. You a weekend and make, like, a decent amount of money still, you know? Yeah, you can. So. But you need that experience. Minimum, right. sometimes six months. Right. So, and see, if you want to make, now this isn't everybody. There are local jobs out there that pay like six figures or whatever. Um, but most of the time, those are specialized. If you're going to be home more often, those are specialized jobs where you can hit the six figure mark. Um, if you're running like generalized freight, like he said, for beer companies, Coca-Cola, Pepsi. Dedicated. Yeah, dedicated. There's dedicated. Like there's all kinds of things you can do and make really good money. And just think about it. It's not only the money that you can make from trucking that matters, but it's the money that you keep from trucking and invest in other things, which I talk about a lot on my channel. Um, you know, using that money to get out of debt, using that money to save up and uh, put a good down payment on a house that you want to buy, right? Or invest in real estate or as, as actual, like, a rental property, not just living in the house. Or, or like, stocks. like my, one of my good friends did, Right. Took him three years to buy his own tractor trailer. He bought it there used, you but yeah, you know he got a he got a dry van, and now he's owner operator, and, and now he's killing it and killing it. And all it took him was you know four years of hard work. That's it. Yeah. I mean, granted, he's been in the industry for like thirteen, but right. You know, four years up. That's yeah. You, you really got to put in the work to actually get right. some sort of effect of it. But, yeah. I mean, I you see. guys could do it. You know, just don't be negative. Be right. enthusiastic. Be positive. We're, we're, we're in such a high demand in this industry. Uh, people don't understand that. They're like, man, why do truck drivers get paid so much versus like white collar jobs? It's because nobody wants to do the job. Uh, it's a dirty job. It's like a plumber or a uh, electrician or whatever. It's a trade. And you, like I said. yeah, just like I said about my, my previous job, right? Systems engineer, I worked IT seven years. It, the industry's so low, it's like, I make more money doing this than I do sitting in an office. There you go. Yeah, so... Just, corporate life sucks anyways. <laughs> there you go. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. We're on this back road right now, trying to get out of this mess. And uh, We are, we're going around. Yeah, we're going around it now. So, uh, but yeah, we'll post another video on Monday. Uh, you'll be seeing this uh, Friday morning. So... Yeah, we'll post another video Monday though, letting you all know like how many miles we actually did for the week and the kind of money he really actually made. Um, and uh, I don't mind showing my net. Right, and if you don't believe him, we can just show it because he's not even going to be with Millis anyway after the training. He's going to be with Heartland, so it really doesn't matter, and you're going to make a lot more per mile anyway. Yeah, there. Heartland so. does pay a lot more than Millis. There you go. That's pretty much it. Just wanted to check in with you guys. And uh, uh, yeah, we will be making another video here soon. So uh, make sure and follow me on Instagram. The link is in the, in the description below. And check out some more of my other videos that will pop up at the end of this one. And actually watch them. And actually watch them. And like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more. Uh, hit the notification bell, by the way, too, so that you get alerted every time I drop a video. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, God bless. Have a great day. Peace out.